Voters cast their ballots in Kyrgyzstan for the third time in six months. The referendum was called by the new president, Sadr Japarov, who asked the country to approve changes to the constitution. But critics say they could pave the way for authoritarianism and misrule. I don't think only one man should decide everything. There is a proverb that says you only find truth through debate. The more opinions you have, the better it is for the country's development. Japarov was freed from jail by supporters in October during protests after parliamentary elections were annulled, following widespread allegations of vote buying by pro government parties. The government collapsed in what Kyrgyz call their third revolution in three decades since independence. Japarov says the last 10 years of the parliamentary system under the current constitution has been a failure, and Kyrgyzstan is not ready for a parliamentary democracy. The people have been really feeling that the parliament has been the seat of irresponsibility, that there's, no, uh, there's nobody with who, at whom the bucket stops, as it were. And the president has really picked up on that sense, sentiment among the people, that we have a constitution that doesn't assign clear responsibility to anyone, and I'm the one who is going to take full responsibility myself. I will answer for everything that happens in this country and just give me the power. Supporters of the proposed constitutional changes say freedom of speech and democratic rights will be protected, but order needs to be restored to government after years of mismanagement and corruption. We've had 33 prime ministers in 30 years, can you imagine that? And always the appointments and decisions were made by the president behind the scenes, which was unconstitutional. The Prime Minister was the victim of those decisions. The constitutional changes mean the President will be able to act transparently. Kyrgyzstan is often described as the most democratic country in Central Asia and President Japarov says that altering the country's constitution will not change that. But there are many people here who are afraid that he represents a problem on the path towards full democracy, a path that they have struggled to build since independence 30 years ago. John Stratford Al Jazeera, Bishkek.